Welcome back to Burgers and Biceps. We are on episode five and we are going to Mackenzie River. So we are going to try out the Mackenzie River burgers. Apparently they have some pretty massive burgers on the menu, one called the Kodiak Burger. I think that's what we're going for. Oh, absolutely. So uh, we'll let you know how it is. We'll get the reviews in later. So right now, very excited, very hungry. Let's go smash some burgers. This is quite a construction. Welcome to the next episode of Burgers and Biceps. This is episode number five. We just finished a wonderful trip oh to McKenzie River and so are good. phenomenally satisfied. So kicking into the ratings, again, we rate out of five stars. We rate the atmosphere, we rate the price, and we rate the taste. We're going to kick it off with the atmosphere here. So what did you think atmosphere-wise? Out of five stars, what are you giving it? I think it's an easy five. Um, the biggest things for me, it was clean. The service was phenomenal. We got our food fast. It's really all I want. There's plenty of sports on, upbeat music. Yeah, easy five. I agree. Um, the previous places we've been have been a little bit more crowded or completely dead with a rough atmosphere. So this yeah. was the perfect balance of nice and chill, but at the same time, good atmosphere, people hopping around, the waitress was very friendly, very helpful. So yeah, I cannot complain about a single thing. I'm giving it a five as well, which moves us next into price, which um, I'm gonna give it a 4.5 on price. Um, the food was phenomenal. Our total bill between the two of us, each getting a massive burger and an order of fries was about $30, yeah. which would honestly be about the same price as if both of us went and got Wendy's. Um, but for a dine-in, wonderful experience. So what do you think on price? I'm going to go with another five here um, right. because the fact that, you know, you can get two one pound burgers with fries for fourteen fifty. Like, that's incredible to me. So $50, I, I left the server um, $10, so $40 with the tip. I think that is either the cheapest or tied with the cheapest place that we've been. Yeah. And when it comes to like cost and taste, yeah, easy five. Yep. And then going into the most important of all, the taste. Ooh. What are you giving taste? Once again, a five. This is a clean <laughs> Straight five, five for Tyler. <laughs> and just a little side note, this is a conversation we actually had in the car, is we, were, we started to compare it to other places. Like in the Thurman's episode you guys saw, we gave the taste a five because it was phenomenal. Do I think this burger was better than Thurman's? No. But I think it was close enough that it gave me the same, holy crap, this is an incredible burger. So I, I'm still going to give it a five. And I, I got to agree. I got to give it a five. Um, see, the thing about that order of episodes, we were also talking about this a little bit, is it's hard to 
realize what a five star is until you have a really good burger. So some of our previous episodes, um, I feel like we might have been a little generous on the stars just because we didn't know what was coming up and how amazing Thurman's would taste and how amazing this would taste. So same with me. Um, it wasn't quite on the level of Thurman's burger wise, but it was such so a good burger. I was giggling like a little girl when I bit into that thing. It was delicious. So I, I've got to give it a five as well. I'm just being straight up honest. If you guys want a good burger around the Polaris area, go to McKenzie River, man. Yeah, There's seriously up. no complaints. Yeah, so I would say, um, yeah, easy five for me. I think it's gonna be like, what, like a 4.8 yeah, total for like you. Me, so. so yeah, I, I think overall it is the best place, you know, when you, when you put all three together that we've been. Like I said, Thurman's beats it just by a little bit in taste, but other than that, just everything combined. One of my favorite places I've ever been. Highly recommend it. Uh, it's going to be tough to beat. We're actually going to see next week if we can beat it on our own uh, with our season kind of wrap up here. It's going to be us making our own burgers. We're going to try to take everything that we've learned from the different places and bring it together. So. Yeah. Yep. And I got to give a quick shout out to their fries as well oh, because I feel like goodness. we hit on all the fries. As far as every place we've been so far, this place has the best fries. They're not too skinny, but not too fat. Definitely crispy. Got the right amount of salt on them. Best fries, hands down, that oh, we've yeah. had so far. Oh, yeah. So Absolutely. Um, that plays into the five rating on the taste as well. So thank you for joining us for another episode of Burgers and Biceps. Stay tuned to see Chef Tyler and Sous Chef Noah in the latest <laughs> episode <laughs> coming next week, creating our own burgers. So thanks for watching, everybody.